Dave from Hooked on Headwaters and Hooked on Saltwater. And we are here at ICAST 2022 at the Old Town booth. Ryan is going today joining me. He's going to walk us through the kayaks at Old Town. As a lot of you know, Old Town's near and dear to me. I own about four or five, uh, actually six of these for my guide service. So today we're going to look at one of my favorites, maybe an add-on to the fleet, 106. Um, Powered by Minn Kota. Powered by Minn Kota. And then we're going to go over and review um, the kayaks that I have. Yeah. So I'm going to turn it over to Ryan and he's for the walkthrough. Thanks, Dave. Yep. So Ryan with Old Town. Old Town has been around since 1898. Uh, we're based in Maine. All the boats that you see here made by our uh, awesome team of craftsmen up in Maine. So we're really proud of what we do. We pour our heart and soul into it. Um, so, I, you know, we're, we're showing off our new Sportsman line. It's been in the market now for the last two years. We launched it two and a half years ago now. It features paddle, pedal, and motorized models. I'm going to show you one of our favorites. It's the 106 powered by Minn Kota. Some of you may or may not know that we're sister brands with Humminbird and Minn Kota. So we worked with their engineers to design fully integrated motorized kayak experiences. So this is our 10 foot, six inch, 106 power by Minn Kota. What's great about it is it's plug and play. You buy it from the dealer, you bring it home and it's ready to fish. You can customize it however you like, but it's ready to be fished. All you need to do is source your own battery and you're ready to go. So it takes a lot of that DIY workout for those of you that have maybe thought about motorizing your kayak experience. So starting right at the bow, I said it was 10 and a half feet long. So it's real short, easy to transport, car top, throw in the back of a truck, trailer, however you'd like. Features a nice comfortable grab handle up front as well as in the back, makes transporting really easy. We have dry storage up here in the bow behind this hatch. Allows you to access the inside of the hull if you wanted to store anything out of the spray or anything out of the water. Also gives you access for any internal rigging you might want to do if you want to rig electronics, lighting, that sort of thing. You've got access to the inside of the hull. Moving back, you got adjustable foot braces. These are also uh, how you steer the kayak, which means that your hands are free for fishing. So you steer with the foot control rudders, and then you control the power with this throttle control to your right-hand side. Forward to go forward, reverse to go reverse. It's super intuitive, super easy, and again, it keeps your hands free to, to focus on what you want to do, fish. If you don't want to fish that day, freeze up your hands for a drink or a camera. So it's just a great experience because you don't have to worry about paddling or maneuvering your kayak. This boat does all the work for you. It's got a super comfortable seat, breathable, adjustable for all day comfort. So if it's a 15 minute outing or a 10 hour outing, you'll be comfortable. Even though this boat's only 10 feet long, it is a pretty wide kayak, which means that it's incredibly stable. It's got a tri-hull design. If I were to flip this kayak over, it looks like it's got two pontoons under each gunnel. What that does, it provides super stability. So if you want to stand up, make some casts, even if you're hook, hook setting sideways, you'll probably lose your balance and fall out of the boat before this boat will actually flip over. It's that stable. It's got nice padded floors. And what you can see here is this is the integrated motor. So it's right now it's in the deployed state. Lift it up just like that. Now it's docked. You can see that the white lower means that it's salt water ready. So just all you have to do after use is make sure that the prop's clean of any debris and that you rinse it off. It's a really low maintenance drive. Another great feature of this boat is it's got a wing nut that secures the prop. So you just take that off, pull it out, and you can clear behind the prop really, really easily. When you're ready to go, drop that motor down, put your kill switch key in, lock the motor down, and you're ready to go. It's that easy. The pod itself also has some dry storage. So if you want to store your phone, your wallet, a few uh, pieces of tackle, whatever you want, you can store it inside that dry hatch. You got nice pockets beside you that double as cup holders. You have dedicated cup holders beside the grab handles on the side. 16 inch accessory tracks on either side for fish finders, rod holders, cup holders, whatever you want to add. Aftermarket, it's ready to go. Beside the seat on the other side, you get a nice parking area for any spent baits or things that you want to store quickly beside you. What I love about this boat is all, for a 10 foot boat, all the space that you have. Behind the seat here, you can see that it's super wide, 
super long. You got all kinds of space for tackle crates, coolers, or even a tackle crate and a cooler. All kinds of space. Now let's say you don't want a motor, you want a paddle. What's great is you can actually take this plate out that's included with the boat and you can replace it with the motor pod and then it becomes a paddle craft. So you've got the ability to paddle one day or motor the next. The foot steering, like I said, is controlled with the, uh, the foot pegs that are adjustable. And you've got this XL rudder back here. And you might ask why the rudder's so large. All the surface area means that it turns on a dime. Mm -hmm. It's grabbing more water and it's 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 makes this boat super maneuverable. Last couple features I'll point out before we move on to the other boat is you've got 16 inch accessory tracks out back as well. So if you wanted some to troll and you wanted some rods out back or you wanted additional rod storage, you've got the ability to do that or even add like a visi, visi pole. And the last feature is a shallow water anchor mounting location right here. So if you wanted to run a stakeout pole like by Yak Gadget or a power pole, you can mount that without having to drill into your kayak. Allows you to just quickly and easily Place that plate there, drill it in, and you're ready to roll. And actually, I, I lied. One more, one more feature before we move on. We wanted to make this thing as easy for everybody out there to just buy the boat, bring it home, set it up how you want, get out on the water and fish right away. So we have added two or three through-haul wiring locations, one, two, and three. That allows you to route your fish finder wires through these ports without having to drill into your kayak. So whether you want it to be on the port or the starboard side, you've got a nice access port and we've already drilled it for you and it comes with a replacement cap that allows you to route your wires through and it's waterproof. And then we have one in the center of the boat that leads down to the transducer. We have a transducer mount below. So again, no drilling. We've taken care of that for you. So 10 feet, six inches. If you want to learn more about this boat, oldtownwatercraft.com. I hope you get a few. They're awesome boats. Yep. Let's walk over now. So before we go over, just want full disclaimer. Oh my, again, I have, I have six of these boats. They're all paid for. Old Town didn't provide them for me. Hint, hint. <laughs> <laughs> but I am, I am considering of, again, investing, investing in what we just reviewed, the, uh, the 106 uh, Minn Kota and adding that to the fleet. I think that will help some of my clients out that where the, the pedaling just isn't um, for them and this will get them around the water in a much easier yeah. fashion and yet keep that stability and fishability. Yeah, what's great about these two options too, before we jump into the next one, is we have several hands-free options. So right. whether you choose to motor or choose to pa pedal, your hands are free for fishing, which That's is right. awesome. That's, That's right. game changing. I yep. mean, you don't Absolutely. have to deal with a paddle. Absolutely. So come on over. So we're gonna show you the, the Big Water PDL. This model right here is 13 feet, two inches. It's, the name is Big Water because it's at home in ocean, big rivers, big lakes. It handles big water with ease. That's what it's designed to do. Unlike the 106 Power by Minn Kota that has the tri-hull, this has a performance hull. Also very stable, though it has a rounder hull shape which allows it to bob and weave over waves and in big water conditions and it helps cut through the waves and you're not hull slapping, you're not, you know, going for a ride. It's it's maneuvering through the water and doing a lot of that, you know, uh, adjustments for you when you're in big water conditions. So you feel real stable and you're real efficient. So we'll start right at the bow. 13 foot, two inches. Uh, this boat is awesome. It's a it, it's controlled by foot control. So you got a foot pedal system, pedal driven system. It's a real low maintenance. All you need to do again, like with the 106 MK, is make sure the prop is clear and that you rinse it off. And just that simple care and maintenance. So starting right up here at the bow hatch, it's enormous. It's got all kinds of space up here to access the inside of the hull. So whether you wanna store rods during transport or extra rods while you're out on the water, if you wanna get inside the hull to to uh, add any aftermarket accessories that require drilling or access to the inside of the hull, you've got an enormous space to do so, as well as throwing things like catch bags or your backpack in, in the bow and, and out of the ocean spray or the, or the water spray. You've got this great hatch um, and large access point up front. Comfortable grab handles um, in the bow and the stern, which makes transporting a lot easier. A couple drillable plates up front here, so if you wanna run 
a GoPro mount, or you want to add a small track up here on either side, you've got the ability to do so. I've added a Helix 9 fish finder screen to this, and I've routed the cables into the battery uh, bag in the bow, no drilling, and then I would route the transducer line down to the mounting plate below the boat, also included, which reduces the need to drill into your boat. What's unique about this boat is it's got adaptable plates. So you've got the ability to drill into these plates on either side, and it also comes with a, a, a built-in accessory track. So if you're gonna run track-mounted accessories like this, or if you wanted to drill a plate on there, you've got the ability and the adaptability to, you know, really put on whatever you want onto these plates. You got two up front, some nice storage pockets on, on the gunnels on either side for whatever you'd like. I usually run my fish finder battery right beside me just so I can monitor that battery during the day. Again, we talked about the pedal drive. It's got an enormous storage uh, pod area here for whatever you'd like to store, soft plastics, wallets, phones. What's great about our drive too is because it has this big cavernous pod if you drop that boat, if you drop the pedal drive in the water, like if you're uh, launching off of a dock, this drive will float. So you're not gonna, you don't have fear of your your drive sinking to the bottom. The the pod will help that that drive to float. Let me show you what the drive looks like. So there it is. It's a 10 to 1 gear ratio. I've replaced the factory pedals with a, an aggressive bike pedal. I like that because I usually go out fishing with deck boots or sandals and I like the extra grip, but the included pedals are padded, so comfortable for uh, barefoot pedaling. Forward to go forward, reverse to go reverse, keeps your hands free. Um, you've got a rudder control knob on the opposite side of the kayak on your left side. It's got a trucker knob, so it makes turning the, the boat really easy, controls the rudder in the back. So your hands, again, with the ju rudder adjustment with your left hand, your hands are free to fish because your feet are powering this boat. Adjustable um, and breathable seat on a shuttle track so you adjust to your leg length for the drive. You've got an access uh, pocket underneath the, the boat, again getting inside the boat there if you wanted to throw any accessories midship, you wanted to throw your battery under there, you've got the ability to access the center of the, the boat inside. Padded floors, I forgot to mention that too. That's great for when you're standing and fishing or if you drop a tool, it's not gonna spook the fish. It dampens the, the blow. On the back here, we've got a nice a, a big wide open stern tank well. On the back, I've added a manual stakeout pole by Yak Gadget and I've routed the, the deploy cord up to the other side of the seat. So I'm able to deploy that on the go using the included mounting area for shallow water anchor. So again, a nice, additional feature if you fish shallow water conditions like you know mangrove intercoastal areas uh, if you're fishing shallows and frogging um, this is just a, uh, an awesome way to just keep your boat in one place um, so you can focus on the fishing on the opposite side here i use the accessory tracks to mount horizontal rod ho rod storage so a lot of people this is a trend that's growing in the in, in kayak fishing is you know rather than have your rods vertically all the time, some folks enjoy having a few rods at their disposal right beside where they're seated. Or if you're fishing your mangroves or bridges and things where your rods will get fetched up in the vertical position, this is just a nice aftermarket feature for storing your rods beside you and protected uh, from any snagging that you might do. So 13 feet, two inches on this boat, all of our boats are backed by a limited lifetime hull warranty. The pedal drive's backed by a five-year warranty, made in Maine, USA. If you want to learn more about this boat, I'm sure you've got all kinds of videos featuring this boat mm -hmm. on your channel. But if you want to learn more about this model and the rest of the Old Town Sportsman line, you can visit oldtownwatercraft.com. All right. I want to thank Ryan for your time. Thanks. That was awesome. Thank you. I want to thank Old Town for making what I believe it is the best, the number one angling kayak there is out there. So long everyone, we'll catch you in the next one.